I think it's important to remember that in Adventure Time, evil is not necessarily what we think of as true evil. Remember that Hunson Aberdeer met Gunther and proclaimed him to be the most evil, yet on multiple occasions we've seen Gunther doing things which would be considered kind or good. I believe that this is somewhat of the point of the show. I think it instills in those who watch it, young and old alike, that there is no such thing as black and white. It shows us that everyone has a motivation for their actions, that they personally don't consider evil, even if the outcome can be objectively considered evil. Hunts and Abadir is a good example of the duality of morals. On the one hand, he has a lot of love for his daughter Marceline and wants to see her happy. However, his idea of what will make her happy is wrong and causes him to do some evil things. He is obviously evil in a lot of ways, being the lord of evil. But here we are given the insight that even the most evil being ever has some good inside, no matter how limited. You really have to separate good and evil in U from the moral good and bad. Evil in the Adventure Time universe isn't necessarily bad. Take Aberdeer. He's clearly the ultimate of chaotic evil. He practically even says it in the show. He's pure chaos, but chaos in the sense of just random, unabashed action. Typically, that's bad stuff like giving the guy abs on his face or making the other guy puke bananas. But deep down, he's not a terrible guy all of the time. Peppermint Butler is probably the epitome of lawful evil. He's helped Fen and Jake on numerous occasions, even not overreacting when he got the So Spice hot sauce dropped in his eyes by accident when Finn and Princess Bubblegum were pranking Lemon Grab. However, as we've seen when he expects to receive Finn and Jake's flesh as payment, were his obviously dark magic involving demon souls and using cinnamon bun as some sort of sacrifice, he's clearly an evil guy, but evil in the service of good. Also look at Flame Princess, who, after being clearly described as evil, Finn and the Flame King even discuss the penalties to the ability scores she'd take if she converted to good. Isn't all that bad of a person. She's by far the most normal of the princesses and was really nice to Finn for a prolonged amount of time. Sure, she goes nuts and burned crap down, but it doesn't seem to be uncontrolled and it's usually for a reason. She thinks Finn's trying to hurt her, or she thinks the Ice King is teasing her. To take it a step deeper though, one could argue that while the evil characters aren't necessarily bad, the good characters aren't necessarily all that good. Princess Bubblegum is clearly some sort of neutral good, but has an, on numerous occasions done obviously bad things. Her dealing with Princess Cookie, her torture of the Ice King and Wizards Only Fools, and her general treatment of Finn in the last season are all examples of where a good character can do bad things in the name of good. Hell. She was even willing to let Finn suffocate to put out Flame Princess when she was overheating. I know I sound like a broken record, but it just keeps getting better. Thank you to all of you for supporting me this past month. It is really encouraging to see so much going on within such a short period of time. I want to give a huge shout out to my very first Patreon backer. Mark W pledged $10 per month in support of the channel. I cannot believe the generosity of some people. If you also decide to donate any amount, just know how truly grateful I am to you. For those of you who have been turning your ad blocker off, thanks as well. I look forward to talking with each of you in the comment section below as we discuss the topic further. Oh, and before you go, would you go watch Quick Attack Gaming's trailer for their new series, Pokemon Nuzlocke, coming soon? Just click the picture and it will open right up. Don't forget to tell them I sent you. See you all next time. Happily ever after giving me